Good afternoon. My name is John with the Pine Tree, and I have the great pleasure of being here with Kathy Mossaferro. Hi, John. And thank you for sitting down with us for a few minutes. Now, this it's my is pleasure. One of those little who, what, when, where, why type of things. So, mm-hmm. if people, we were joking before we started. See, because Kathy is, she's a real shrinking violet, so nobody <laughs> in the county knows her. It's one of those really, you know, in some ways, this whole interview is. Probably superfluous and redundant, but you know, no, just kidding. There's, there's nothing superfluous <laughs> and redundant about the pine tree. Oh, okay, all right. But anyway, it was if you if we were joking that if you've been hiding under a rock for the last <laughs> 10 or 15 years, you may not know who this woman is. But um, just in case, so we're we're going after that target of like two or three people gotcha. out there that don't that don't know that, that I yeah. haven't met yet. Yeah, that so I haven't met yet. Yeah, yeah. and so I'm sure I'll see you this weekend at Frog Jump if yes. I haven't met you there Correct. before. Yeah. So well, anyway, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as you alluded to, um, I've been here for a number of years right. now, and actually, I was born and raised in Calaveras County. I grew up in Moak Hill. Okay. Okay, and then graduated from Calaveras High School in 1971, left to attend college. Mm-hmm. And then lived in a variety of places, right. Manteca, Turlock, mm-hmm. uh, Mesa, Arizona, mm-hmm. Mountain View, Walnut Creek, um, eight years, nine years. In I was born and raised in Turlock. Were you really? Yeah. But that's probably a subject for a different... Another, yeah, another we'll interview. Yeah. You betcha. <laughs> yeah, because Turkey Tech, that's a whole other subject. <laughs> anyway, um, lived uh, for eight years in Irvine mm-hmm. and then decided I've had enough. I want to go home. Right. So I came back to Calaveras County in the summer of 1997 and have uh, finished raising my two wonderful daughters here Mm -hmm. and built a career and a home and reconnected. That was a lot of fun. was reconnecting with so many of the people I either went to school with or they were my teachers. I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, I've had the joy, I guess you'd call it the joy, of going to the retirement parties for my teachers. Mm Mm-hmm. That's always real interesting to go from calling somebody Mr. So and So to by their first name. Right. Yeah. So that's 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 a little bit about me in a nutshell. Now, is um, if is your running for supervisor? What are some of the things you would like to accomplish? Or what are things you would like to know that if you know what would be I guess your platform for lack of a better better term of what you would like to get done? Well, my first my primary platform is restoring consistency. Right. Because um, there's, I've, for the last ten years, mm-hmm. I've been a community banker mm-hmm. here in Calaveras County. So I've worked with contractors, developers, uh, people who want to build a home, mm-hmm. people who want to open a business. Mm-hmm. And the last couple of years have been some pretty frustrating times. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get one answer at nine o'clock in the morning and another answer at two. Right. Every time I turn around, ever since announcing my candidacy, I find yet another poster story, Mm -hmm. poster child, if you will, of why I'm running for office. And with my skill set, both in lending and finance and my Mm -hmm. construction background, you know, because one of the things I haven't mentioned in the other interviews was that before I got into lending, I actually actually worked for a developer in Modesto. Mm -hmm. And um, he was subdivision construction. Right. One of the things that I had to do was every week I went out on site inspections with him. And he would walk through every house and he'd actually reach up and touch where the, the door frames meet mm-hmm. and see if the meters were, were close. Right. And because he took great just pride fit and just the fit yeah. and finish. Um, and the contractors that I've been privileged to work with, the ones here in Calaveras County that I've worked with the last 10 years, they're great guys. guys. They're great guys. And all they want to do is build homes for Mm -hmm. people, make a decent living, Mm -hmm. and have consistency restored to the whole building and planning department. And that's my primary objective, along with building that revenue stream so that our infrastructure can not only stay consistent, it can be improved. Right, right. No, I think that's you know, in you know, we from following the board this last couple of years and everything else, I mean, there's just been some real challenges. Yes, that there a lot has. of people have faced. You know, I think uh, and in fairness to some of the changes the county made, some of those things, you know, you need to move from a smaller county to a larger I mean I guess more of a process driven but probably mm-hmm. nothing's been getting out for me. I'm editorializing a little bit here, but I mean it's it's been tough to see because you're you're right, the imperial 
because we get um, loaded with an inbound of a lot of correspondence from you and stuff of just stuff that's just not getting out. Absolutely. Door. Yeah. And I think they realize that in there. I think they realize they need to get stuff out the door faster. But yes, they do. Yeah. And you know, I had the opportunity just recently to go to an economic summit over at Columbia mm -hmm. College, mm -hmm. and one of the presentations was by the uh, head of the Community Development Agency in Tuolumne and the, the gentleman who mm -hmm. works at the building department. I got to tell you, I was so impressed with the structure that they've got set up, the flow chart, mm -hmm. the information they were able to give you, um, the complete understanding. I mean, we didn't, we weren't there for more than an hour, and I walked out with a complete understanding of if I wanted to build a home or build a business this in Tuolumne to County, do. here's what you need. Okay. And if elected, one of the first things I'm going to do is learn more from Tuolumne County about how they've streamlined their system. They've got it on computer tracking. You submit your plans, you can go in you know and they at. can tell you where those plans are in right. the process. Right. It was awesome. Now, in a little bit of a tiny bit of a segue, if you sure. Here, is one of the things is I know that you know there's been a lot of people saying that this is you know Calaveras County has been just a good old boy network and stuff like that. I guess the question on that is, if since we're a small county with mm -hmm. say forty some thousand people in it, odds are just from sheer numbers mm -hmm. that if everybody is going to know each other because if you're sure in a are. given if you're in a given industry mm -hmm. and let's say let's you know just take construction for example or something, odds are since that is one. Of you're going to know everybody pretty much in that industry anyway. So you I think in some ways, don't we have to, one of the challenges for a lot of people that come into our county that see is that, well, you know, it's just a good old boy network. But some of that was just numbers. Right. Just because they're, with a relatively small population base, we're moving gradually. I mean, if you have a limited subset of people in a, in a given industry, right. it's going to look like you know, the good, because that's the only people that are in that industry. Sure. Is that a fair thing or no? Yeah, no, I think it's a very fair thing. I think I think if you define good old boy, how, how you define good old right. boy, is, here's right. your question, okay, is if it's a good old boy system where, where slipshod practices are ignored, where you wink against it, etc., that's not the that's good not old boy. That's not to. what we're yeah. alluding to. What we're alluding to is, as you just said, you have a working background. You have a working knowledge. Yeah. I just talked to a contractor just this morning mm -hmm. that um, was very favorable with some of the guys that are in the inspection process. Mm -hmm. He's in the process of, of, of construction. The inspector came in. Now, the electrician is down on his knees working with this outlet. Mm -hmm. The plug is over here on the counter. Mm -hmm. In some counties, they'd have taken one look at it and go, nope, and walked out and would not have finaled it. It was Got the it. only item done. Got it. To be done. But when you've got people who who have a history of working with these guys, right. who know who you can trust, right. who know who you have to lean on, right. common sense should have an opportunity to prevail and walk in. There's the guy on the floor. He's putting the, the, right. the socket in. Yeah. Okay, no problem, because yeah. what's he going to do? Leave it undone? No. I don't think so. Now, conversely, I know a co of a contractor, not of Calaveras County, mm -hmm. that I would never recommend. When he put the slab down on the house that he was building for some mm -hmm. people, he, he cemented right over the hole for the toilet. <laughs> and couldn't understand why the buyer wouldn't sign off on it. You know, the county wouldn't sign off on it. You know, buyer wasn't going to sign off on it. The contractor was really unhappy. Like I said, he doesn't work here in Calaveras Got County. it. Got it. But, uh, you know, it's, it, you, you do. It, Good old boy can have a bad connotation, and that's not what I have found here in right. Calaveras County. Right. It's called common sense. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Where is the benefit to the public good? Right. Because, I mean, as an example, the same thing as you know, I mean, I know of a couple contractors that have built several houses for the same customers. Yes. You know, I mean, it's, Absolutely. you know, as they've, as they've migrated through different phases in life sure. or whatever, and I think that's probably about as good a recommendation as you can get for Absolutely. A lot of well, and you know, when I started my banking career here in Calaveras mm -hmm. County, I worked for what was Central Sierra Bank. So we were very small. We were only seven branches. Mm -hmm. In those days, the loan officer was required to go out to the site mm -hmm. and walk through it. 
Now, I always told the customer, you are your quality control expert. Right. You make sure that that really is the color that you picked and mm -hmm. that you're, you're happy with it before mm -hmm. you authorize me to sign off. But Makes I've sense. worked with these guys literally yeah. from the ground up, mm -hmm. and I know what they build. And everybody, you know, by and large, we won't make a huge blanket statement, sure. but by and large, this nonsense of our health has been compromised or our safety has been compromised is just that it's nonsense. Because I know these contractors right. and nobody's safety right. <laughs> and self, safety and health has right. been compromised. Right. They're, they're guys who are, in, you know, the great thing about Calaveras County is all you have to do is mess up once. And the word of mouth will kill you yeah. if you want to build yeah. in here again. Yeah. Understood. Well, I guess we probably went off on enough on A little on tangent that. Yeah, there, yeah. Anyway. So what else should people know? Well, you know, one of the things that, that I was really pleased with the other night mm -hmm. at the candidates night, um, when all three of us were done, right. there's no cameras on, nobody's mm -hmm. around, Gary Toffinelli stood up to Zero McDaniel and I and said, ladies, I want to tell you how honored I have been to have run in this campaign with nice. you. Nice. Because all three of us mm -hmm. have made a point of focusing this on the issues. Right, you have. And nothing else. Yes. I've heard from a couple other candidates not in this race. Yeah. Their signs are getting trashed, they're you know, disappearing, they're getting defaced yeah, or whatever. Some of the other districts have been a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not <laughs> the case here. And no. I and I I noticed that as well. Yeah, Very and, nice. and the three of us shook hands and we said, yeah. you know, we really do appreciate the fact, and it's the way I believe candidate or right. candidacy should be run. The only bad thing on that from a press perspective is it makes your <laughs> the candidates <laughs> nights, they're not as dramatic. You know, there's really not as much. Just kidding. But <laughs> no, but you do know where we stand. Yes. You know, yeah. and that's the important thing is where do we stand on the issues? So one yeah. of the things I've, I'm glad I have this opportunity to say is that it's been an honor mm -hmm. to have run with Zeril and Gary because we may disagree on the issues or right. where we want to get right. and where we want to see Calaveras County go. Mm -hmm. But the but the bottom line is is it's been an issue oriented campaign it and it's been an honor. Yeah, and I think it's uh, and there's you've had enough public discourse out there. I think people are if people are paying attention. They can sure discern the distances and policy of expecting you know policy outcomes. From the sure. Well, and, and you know we've got different backgrounds. Right. So you look at where we stand on the issues, mm -hmm. what our skill set is, what our background is. Yeah. That's what you should be voting on. Um, I guess it's a little 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 outgoing piece then. If you could push it out, I know this question has been asked in some of the candidates tonight. Ten years from now, what would you like to see Calaveras County accomplish in Calaveras County? What would you like to see? Well, certainly, we w the whole thing of course comes that down to two terms. Two terms or three. Three. But yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> balance. You know, we're going to have we have to strike a balance. We cannot just stop growth. We just can't. Right. Our county will cave in. We won't have any money for sewers or water, mm -hmm. for law enforcement, for fire protection. So, 10 years down the road, what I'd really love to see are businesses here that complement and increase the revenue without necessarily bashing the small business owners right. that have been here all along. Yeah. I'd like to see, and I, I had a chance the other day to talk to the gentleman who owns the land out at Toyon. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'd Is this love another to push see for the outlet mall. For the outlet there mall. you go. The outlet mall, because it'd draw in from all those counties. I agree, yeah. People take buses to go mm -hmm. outlet shopping. Mm -hmm. So they come in, they spend all their money, and then they go home. See, and then it would also be a nice compliment for, as a district, one compliment for like mm -hmm. Murphy's or something, right? So you'd have, like, you'd balance out the county. Exactly. Exactly. Tourist draw that But way. it wouldn't be in anybody's backyard. That's true. There's no houses to be impacted. There's no oak trees left. Unfortunately, they went away long, long time ago when the lumber mill was still there. Right, right. So there's there's no oak trees, so is this and the infrastructure is there. So is this a variation on a chicken in every pot? Is this type? I'm just joking. Yeah, now, a pair of shoes on every foot. Because I want to stop having to go out buying, of the county, yeah, okay. out of the county to buy a pair of shoes. Socks on every foot. Socks on every foot. You know, Mikasa in every <laughs> in every cabinet. 
<laughs> Gap clothing. Ah, uh, uh -huh, yes. A yeah, well-togged well populace, exactly. right? Is that the, exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, and, and you know, if you think about the stores that you could entice in there, ones that would appeal to younger families, right. ones that right. would appeal to our uh, retirees, and jobs for our kids. There you go. Yeah, I'd like to see that. As I've mentioned before, I'd like to see us explore the idea of building a solar energy plant here in Calaveras County. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got some areas that are just prime for that. In right. Europe, yeah. they have them on yeah. private ranches. Mm -hmm. So they provide power, yeah. but it's green. So right. the ranchers are not right. negatively impacted. Right. Or think about a place like down at the old cement plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it's we'll nobody's back backyard. Mm -hmm. But the power would be ours. We could contract out maybe. You know, you could right. explore any number of options. And so you've got the revenue for us and the power. How cool would that be? It's good. I mean, because we don't have the population densities that we could, the lack of population densities, we have plenty of open spaces. Exactly so. And it would protect the open spaces yes. and still provide a revenue stream. And the panels would provide shade for cows. Yeah, if they were ever caring about it. Right. The horses care more about the shade for cows. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anything else yeah, you right. want to add? No, I think that's pretty much okay. it. You know, we've, we've, we've covered so many of the, the questions and yeah. the issues at yeah. the other ones. Um, I've, I've been looking forward to this interview because it, it, it just gave me a chance to, to thank Gary mm -hmm. and Zeril mm -hmm. for running a clean, issue-oriented campaign right. to ask the voters to just study it carefully, read everything, listen to what we have to say. Yeah. And then make your decision based on where you think or you want Calaveras County to go. So there's not going to be any mudslinging in the last few weeks to, to help poor starving journalists like us with, <laughs> with some headlines? To no, I'm afraid you're going to have to find oh, that. Oh, man. You've had enough with oh. the nationals. Okay. All right. Okay? Okay. Or enough with the state issue. Yeah. I love the one that's running against Tom McClintock and Doug Osi. Right. That's real interesting. Yeah. 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 So now I'm afraid you're going to have to okay. look at other races besides All the right. one for District 1. Thank you very much. And good My luck. pleasure. Right. Thanks so much.